Five More Albums That Made Me, Alt Country Edition. An album that taught me that distorted guitars absolutely belong in country music, Sunvolt's Trace. Released in 1995, Trace is Sunvolt's debut album after the breakup of Uncle Tupelo. The key tracks to check out here are Windfall with its cautious optimism and tear-stained eye, as well as a cover of Ron Wood's Mystifies Me. Jay Farrer's songwriting captures the essence of alt country and Americana, blending acoustic and electric textures. Wilco's Yankee Hotel Foxtrot, an album that made me realize that structure is often overrated. Released in 2001, this album is a classic of alternative country and indie rock. The band's refusal to compromise and their artistic vision actually led to Warner Brothers paying for this album twice. I think any time you can get over on the record company, it's a good deal. Tracks like I'm Trying to Break Your Heart and Ashes of American Flags showcase a Beatlesque influence and a perfect sense of space and density in a recording. An album that taught me to love the train beat? Old 97's Too Far to Care. Released in 1997, this album solidified the band's alt-country status. The blazing speed of the instruments, the heartbreak in Rhett Miller's vocals, unparalleled. Songs like Time Bomb and the West Texas Teardrop stand out to me. An album that made me appreciate the broad impact of Neil Young's influence across all genres, The Jayhawks, Tomorrow the Greengrass. This was their first release in 1995, and it came out swinging. Tracks to check out here, Blue. It takes a Graham Parsons like Tilt and Ten Little Kids that definitely reminds me of Tumbling Dice by the Rolling Stones. The band's harmonies and their reverence for Southern archetypes create a living mythology. An album that taught me that you don't have to write songs in the first-person perspective to tell the story. Drive-by Truckers, The Dirty South. Unblinking lyrics. Start to finish consistency and emotional depth highlight this album for me. The band's unique voice and cultural freight make this album stand out to me. So there's five albums that made me the alt-country edition. I need three things from you before we go. Give these five albums a spin and let me know about your favorite alt-country records in the comments. And check out another video.